हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम दिलीप सिंह आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो लेक्चर इफ यू फील दैट इट वॉज वेरी हेल्पफुल इन ऑर्डर टू लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट दैन प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब द वीडियो एंड फील फ्री टू कमेंट और क्वेरी इफ एनी सो वेलकम टू दर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ टूटोरियल सीरीज फॉर वेब प्रोग्रामिंग टूडे विल सी दूट्स ऑफ एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट्स राइट सो और बेसिकली वॉट इज एट्रीब्यूट सो एट्रीब्यूट इज बेसिकली यूज टू define and modify the characteristics of an html element or we can say it is used to set the property of an html element so basically what are the attributes that uh, an html element can have for example if we talk about that paragraph paragraph is an element which we can create with the help of p tag so the paragraph can have the property or attribute of align means we can align the paragraph or we can give the color to the text or if we are having image in our web page then the height and width of that image can be set using height and width attribute okay so now attribute are well the question is where we should put the attribute or how we can set the attribute of an element so let me tell you the attributes are placed inside the opening tag of the element so where we will put the attribute inside the opening tag of an element for example if i want to put the attribute in p tag so here p tag so attribute we can put inside the opening tag so whatever attribute we will put in any tag that should be here after the name of the tag here we can put the attribute within the opening tag okay and now all the attributes are basically specified by the name value pair okay so name represent the name of the attribute that we want to set and the value represent the value of the attribute basically what value we, we, we want to set to the particular attribute of an html element okay now suppose we want to set the align attribute of this paragraph element to the center so how we'll do that we'll see how we will do that we'll use the align this this is the name of the attribute align and we can set its value either left center or right so if we want our paragraph should be left aligned we can set here left or if you want to our paragraph should be uh, centered aligned so we will put here center so let's see center so 
here this is a para so this is the content of the paragraph so this paragraph now will be displayed by the browser into the center of the browser okay so here we can we can note few things that the value of an attribute is always put inside the quotation right well every html elements having uh, its own unique attributes but there are some common attributes that can be uh, applied across almost the entire range of html elements and these are title id class styles okay yes of course uh, there are some exceptions where uh, it is not relevant to the content of that element so we may not uh, find these attributes on some html elements right uh, for example the title attribute may be used on all elements contained in the body of a document and even it can be applied to the body element itself but it is not relevant to the majority of element found inside the head of document for example the title element itself that we used inside the head so uh, this this is attribute title attribute and earlier we have used the title element within the head section okay so what basically title attribute is so the title attribute provides extra information about the element by displaying a tool tip when cursor comes over the element when it is displayed by the browser we'll see uh, soon we will uh, implement it in demonstration so uh, how how we can uh, use the title attribute so for example uh, i am having a heading element suppose h so I'll use H2. All right, and uh, I'll close H2. And suppose this is a heading two. Okay, now we know that we can put the attribute within the starting tag. So here I'm going to put the attribute title. So title equal to and the value of the title attribute we know we should put the value of the attribute within the quotation so here i will put the value whatever the title i want to give to this heading suppose uh, welcome to the tutorial okay so here you know okay now this is how i can uh, set the title attribute for any element like here i have uh, used title attribute for h2 element which is for header level 2 sorry head level um, heading level 2 okay now let's see what is id tag correct so the id attribute of an html tag can be used to uniquely identify any element within an html page right 
so there must not be multiple elements in a html document that have the same id value okay so remember that the value of the id cannot be same within the html document right and uh, of course its value uh, can be any string but that string must be at least one character long and uh, there must not contain any space character okay so for example how i can set the id attribute of a paragraph suppose so i'll put p and uh, p suppose the content here this is a para an attribute id equal to its value again within the quotation so its id can be suppose para 1 so this para 1 is uniquely identify this element within the html document uh, suppose we are having uh, one more paragraph in our html document so it would be p okay suppose para 2 all right so now we can uniquely identify the this paragraph by using its id which is para 1 and if i want to give this paragraph also some id so i have to set its id attribute equal to maybe para 2 okay but remember that it cannot be para 1 because In same HTML document, the two elements cannot have same ID, right? Because the ID is used for uniquely identify the element within the HTML document. So it can be para 2. Okay, now let's see the class attribute. So what exactly class attribute is? So class attribute is specify uh, that from which class the particular element belongs. Okay, the value of the attribute may be a space separated list of class name. For example, suppose again is a paragraph so this is a para so I will set here attribute how we'll use attribute class equal to here so the class can be having single class or the multiple class the multiple class can be specified with with a space separated list of class so it can be a class 1 then space class 2 okay this means this paragraph belongs to class 1 as well as class 2 also right basically the class attribute is used to associate an element with a style sheet css right css CSS which is for cascading style sheet right so here if you are not getting about uh, ID and class attribute clearly for now you can avoid it okay we will learn more about the use of uh, the class and id attribute when we will learn cascading style sheet right now let's see the another com attribute which is style so the style attribute used to specify cascading style sheet 
rules within the element again this style attribute used to specify what cascading style sheet rules okay so for example if i want to set uh, the background color of uh, my paragraph to yellow and uh, the text color of paragraph to red so we can use the cascading style sheet rules with the help of style attribute so here how we can do here see so paragraph let us close the paragraph so this is a para this is the content of the paragraph and now let's set this style attribute so i'll put style equal to and within the double quote now we'll write this style so let us set the background color of a paragraph so there is a in css means cascading style sheet how uh, we can use the rules that we can use to specify or to set the background color is a uh, background color color and then colon and then what color you want to set suppose yellow okay so this is how and uh, semicolon and the another value we can put suppose the text color so simply color i want red okay so when this html code displayed by the browser the content here its text color will be uh, red and the background color will be yellow right so this is how we can use style attribute in order to set cascading style sheet rules within the element okay so uh, don't worry at this point uh, since we are not learning css so just uh, let's proceed without bothering much about css here you need to understand what are html attributes what are the common attributes that can be applied almost all the html element and how they can be used okay now let us see how we can use these html elements attributes in our own web page so here i have created the basic uh, html code structure that we already have discussed uh, about okay so the title i have given the attribute of html elements and uh, in body section here i'm having two elements one is a heading using h1 tag and another one is a paragraph okay now let us uh, uh, set the alignment property align property of the paragraph to the center okay so how i can set the align attributes so we know the attribute can be set within the starting tag so here i will use align attribute name equal to in quote double quote within the double quote we will put its value so its value can be we know either left or center or right so let us i want to uh, align this paragraph content into the center okay now let us save it in uh, some folder that we have created so suppose this my web and here attribute so i'm going to give the name of this page attribute dot html okay now 
let's open this attribute here we can see what happened this uh, attribute of HTML element this is the title here the heading one and uh, this is the paragraph so you can see this paragraph is now aligned in the center okay so we can check suppose you want that it should be aligned to left so I'll put here left then save and then go to the browser refresh it here Th this is the left alignment right the paragraph is now aligned to the left similarly if I want right alignment so I'll put right save and then I'll refresh in the browser and you can see the content of the paragraph is now right aligned okay so this is how what we are doing basically we are this is an element paragraph element and we are setting the align attribute with its value right or left or center so here we can see the uh, attribute is basically the name value pair the attributes having name and its value okay so this is how we can uh, use attribute within any uh, HTML element okay so now let's see uh, some common attributes that we have seen so suppose if I want to, to provide a unique ID to this paragraph then after this attribute after one space I can um, provide another attribute suppose id equal to any name suppose para 1 so here the paragraph having set two attribute one is its alignment which is towards the right and the another attribute is id so this paragraph is having unique id that is para 1 so within the whole document this html document the we can uniquely identify this paragraph by its this id para 1 right and now suppose i want to um, uh, use the class so here in heading i want to set the class attribute so again i will use class and the name of the class whatever class that you want to use suppose uh, my class 1 okay so here h1 tag having set its class attribute to my class 1 it means h1 tag here this heading is belong to my class 1 class right the so both id and h1 sorry class attribute both uh, are majorly used in uh, css cascading style sheet so don't worry we'll we'll uh, see or discuss it in more detail when we learn cascading style sheet okay now uh, the apart from id class uh, the other common attribute that we have learned is a title so suppose this is h1 element and in ht uh, h1 element heading element i want to set its title attribute so i will title equal to and i want to give the value suppose welcome welcome to to real okay and i'll save it and let's see what happened now i'll refresh it you can see the text is right aligned and the title is come as a tool tip over headings so if I will move my cursor over heading and leave it for a few seconds it will display welcome to tutorials as a tool tip 
here it is not displaying uh, maybe just because of my video recorder but uh, i'm sure you can test it it will work okay so now the fourth attribute common attribute that we have learned is a style so suppose i want to put background color yellow and font color red for this paragraph so i will use style attribute and its value will be the css rules so the first one is a background color with its value yellow then semicolon and the another css rules for text color is color itself with its rules red okay now i will save it and uh, refresh it so you can see here the background color of her paragraph changed to hello and yellow sorry and uh, the text color is changed to red so this is all for this tutorial we'll see you in next tutorial thank you guys